I will try to electrify the crowd as much as you, Pete. Um, I have a great honor to introduce uh, the next panelist, presenter, who is um, the president and CEO of NCLR, the um, largest Hispanic civil rights advocacy organization in the country. Um, I have known uh, Janet for over 10 years now, um, and she's always been a personal hero and a personal mentor of mine. I've always looked up to her and respected what she's done for Hispanics um, in the United States and her passion and her drive to commit um, to keep fighting for these issues. And just a quick personal story, you know, Janet was gracious enough to have lunch with my family this past summer. <laughs> and this was after the, um, the nomination had been secured on the Democratic side. And I, I am the father of an eight-year-old girl who, um, because of Nickelodeon, chose to endorse in a presidential candidate because Nickelodeon asked kids to do so. And her reasoning for choosing her candidate was girls rule and boys drool. So that's how she picked her candidate. And when we had lunch with, uh, with Janet over the summer after lunch, she pulls me aside and says, and again, this is after the nomination had been secured, and she says, you see, Daddy, women can be president too. Because um, she heard that Janet was the president of NCLR. Um, and so with that, she continues to now serve as an inspiration and role model for my eight-year-old daughter. And I'm very thankful for her for that. Um, so with that, I will turn it over to my good friend and uh, mentor, Janet Murgia. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Okay, yeah.